Never seen anything like it. <laughs> So I'm just putting my, just plotting my route around the Peak District to give Matt a really good taster of all the best bits of gravel that we've got here. And it's going to be about 40 miles, which is a really nice distance, I think, for a day out. Not too much, not too little. And I've plotted it on Garmin Connect, and then I'm going to load it up to my uh, new little Garmin head unit. Right, so I'm going to send Matt to the route. Enjoy this. Text from Phoebe. I think you'll enjoy this route. It does oh, it's really good actually. Oh, hold on a minute. What do you mean? Bring a better quality biscuit. What's wrong with jammy dodges? Whew, that wasn't a bad journey. 40 minutes on the train from Derby, just a had a cup of tea on the train, now I'm going to uh, clip it on and hopefully Phoebe will be with us in a minute because I think I'm on time. In fact, here she is. Hi Matt. Hey Phoebe, how are you doing? Alright. Good to see you. Nice to see you, how is your journey? Alright actually, yeah. I, I, had a, I went first class um, but I, I used my own cup <laughs> which I've tethered to, to the back. Yeah. Um, not a bad little journey. Um, I'm very excited about it today because essentially due to popular demand this is the sequel isn't it, <laughs> it this is, is the sequel, sequel and we're going to do a proper day in the peak district yep. now i've got the route plumbed into my garmin 840 yeah lucky it's sunny because it yep. can charge itself through the solar panels on the top of it but um more importantly i've forgotten the route where, where are you going to take me so Us. we're going to go out from here towards the Monsel trail which is a disused oh, yeah. railway line towards bakewell and then we're going to cross over a, bit, a little bit of a hiker bike, but some good views. So hiker bike? It. What's that? So we're going to carry the bikes okay. or push the bikes up a bit of a rocky climb. Right. And then we're going to cross over onto the High Peak Trail, which is another disused railway line, which will bring us back towards Matlock. So we've got two really nice sections of like hero gravel, smooth, beautiful views with a little bit of techie stuff in between. Just before we go, before we yeah. roll out of yeah. beautiful Matlock, what a lovely picturesque station this is. My setup, are you quite yep. happy? Have I done that the right way? Because if you hold it the other way around, it actually ca could catch rain. It does, rain. it'll catch, well, you could catch rain, but you also catch some mud and grit. Mud, but, okay. You know, I'm sure it'll do your immune system no harm to get a bit of uh, mud between your teeth. Good stuff. Right. No, oh, ready do to this. go? I am indeed, yeah. First time. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, very early stages and it's just rather uphill isn't it? It is, Calder Rosely. Calder Rosely. Tell you what Phoebe, I'm going to just take a little bit of pressure out of these yeah. tyres actually. I had them on the road yesterday and they're a little bit bumpy. So I mean ideally on a, well you're running 42s aren't you? Yeah. yeah. On a day like today, what would you be running approximately? 20? 25? 20, 25, yeah. Depending on how okay. heavy you are and how aggressively you're going to Oh yeah, there's ride. a lot to I've, I've definitely had these pumped up pretty hard for the road, so I'm just going to take a little bit out. This is all going to be very approximate, by the way. I just like a little bit of, a little bit of squish. That's better. That's going to give me a little bit more comfort, I think. I don't normally put these on on, road, on my road bike. But they're a good idea on a gravel bike because yeah. it keeps all the rubbish out. Yeah, so Normally they're gritty. straight in the bin, aesthetically <laughs> um, not very pleasing. <laughs> but in the gravel world, important. Discuss in the comments what you think of those knobbly bits that go on the end of your valve. So Matt, we just turn off the Monsel Trail and we're going to go up here, which is... That, that's pretty steep, isn't it? pretty steep. They have 
surfaced it a little bit, so it's not as bad as it used to be, but yeah. um, it looks pretty loose. And you can see on my Garmin, it gets pretty steep. There's a lot of red there. <laughs> yeah, but it does red. level off and the views at the top are worth it, I promise. Okay, right then, let's give it a go. Yeah. It's a bit grippy McGripperson's. Yeah. <laughs> Stevie McSteep face. Phoebe, yeah. I think it's worth mentioning, in common gravel parlance, yeah. there's no shame at all, especially on a slope like this, in, in what's known as hiker biking. No, none at all. Like, it's just getting a bit rough now. We've been climbing for quite a while as well, so your legs sort of, you know, if you're not super fit, your legs run out of a bit of steam. Yeah, I was I hoping... I was hoping Mine for, have run out of steam. <laughs> I know, well, I was hoping for a bit of that extra momentum from the weight of the jammy dodges on my right thigh, <laughs> but it, it wasn't seem to be working. Maybe. I think they're holding you back. You yeah. know, if you'd chosen a higher quality biscuit, then uh, yeah, maybe we, you'd have got a bit more power. We need to get to the bottom of it, what you consider a higher quality biscuit, because for me, jammy dodges are at the zenith of, <laughs> of the biscuit world. I had no more cogs left either. I'd run out of cogs. I was on a 40, 50. Yeah, we've got dinner plates on the back. Oh, man. Right, Phoebe, we're roughly halfway through. Yep. It's worth mentioning the weather, isn't it? I've got Pretty the wrong good. lens choice, um, but absolutely gorgeous. Super nice. It's just, it's what it's all about, isn't it? It is, we've been really lucky, actually. So our Garmin's, yep. I've got a lot of functions on them, and the, my favorite function is the bit where it reminds you to eat and drink. So it flashed up about five minutes ago, and um, well, we've taken this opportunity to have a coffee stop, haven't we? Well, this is gonna be, oh. Overflow. Right, absolutely. It's going overflow. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> never seen anything like it. We have. We've done like the hardest bit of the riding now. Most of the climbing's done, so we're about the highest point actually overall. So we sit down, have a coffee, and, uh, refuel. And, and here it is. We've carried this with us. We have um, broken up into our various sort of sections. Little bags. Um, you're not going to have any, are you? So I'm allowed to have no, it. No, no. I'll uh, Tell stick you what with whiskey. I'm going to do. Just crack <laughs> out. Oh, the jammy dodges are Crack here. out the dodges. I mean... I mean, they've not turned to dust, have they? They haven't, because they're it's actually... Quite well they've supported. actually had, like, thigh suspension at softening <laughs> the blow, so all of the shock is... Let's have a look. Look, oh. Oh, there's a slight bit of crumblage no, on that one. No, I think the corn. Let's grab, have grab, the... grab yourself one. Oh, you've got, oh, yeah, like, look. nearly... Oh. I'd say there's 98% of a jammy the dodge The jam has there. held it together. It has. My first ride with you, I can't believe it. It's nearly, well, it's a year and a half, nearly mm -hmm. two years ago. The time, the time has absolutely flown. Now, I learned a lot on that ride. I've still got a lot to learn, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but what should we be, what should people be looking for to bring when they're going to do a full day out? Obviously, the coffee machine, mm. uh, the coffee setup mm. is obviously important. But in all seriousness, what else should they be looking to carry with them? So, I mean, my kind of essential items, I think you must have a warm jacket. So I tend to, I've got my rain jacket with me today because we kind of knew roughly what the weather yeah. was going to be like. Um, but I normally always take a packable down jacket with me. Because even if you're all right, especially if you're riding as a group, if someone falls off and hurts themselves and they're sitting down, one of the things that's really important to me is that, as a doctor yep. is that you keep that person warm. So especially if you're having to wait for someone to come and pick you up. Now, I know most of the time no one's going to fall off and no one's going to hurt themselves, but having a jacket is probably the most important bit of first aid equipment you can have with you over everything else. So a warm jacket and then some spares. So I, we've got a, I've got a couple of inner tubes. Uh, I carry a puncture repair kit kit with me just in case a tool pump tire levers but what else is, i know we're not sponsored by snickers but you've also <laughs> no. got some snicker ballast i have also got a few <laughs> snickers in there for it's, a... <laughs> it's, a, it's quite a bit of room Rubbers. in there isn't it it is, it is it is quite good i think 
that's about it. Yeah. Bone. Yeah, I've got the same. I've got a load of snacks, multi-tool, chain link extractor, mini pump. We've actually got a tyre, a spare tyre folded up as well. That's um, keen. Underneath the saddle there. I've got a mug as well. Although I've got this espresso yeah. cup, so I mean it's <laughs> I mean you didn't want to dangle, really. you didn't want to dangle your espresso. I tell you what though, I mean just looking at it, I mean it, it just sums up the day out, doesn't it? <laughs> we've come we've not come here to race, have we? Although no, so you're, no, giving no, a, no. you're giving it a bit of a nudge over there. I mean well, you had the I'm wheel on. Keep up with you. No, you had the wheel on a little bit, and it's like, oh. I mean, it just it's thought this is a social ride. <laughs> anyway, but uh, this it, it is about having fun though, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean uh, and you can you can go as fast or as slow as you want, and I, I do like the the non-competitive side of riding on ground. Oh, it's the fact you just makes a big having difference. fun. Okay, give it a bit, bit of a nudge, but you can ride as fast or slow as you want and just soak up places like this. It's Why just would brilliant. you want to ride fast? Because you'll no. miss you'll miss the the view, the surroundings, the chat, you know, yeah. makes just enjoy it. Here's to that. Yeah. Still got halfway to go. <laughs> Don't get too relaxed. We'll have to get the bus. I know, we might do. Thanks folks. Thank Cheers. you, hiya. One thing that you need to remind people of as well, when you're doing a ride like this, although you might pass through the odd village, pass through the odd pub, generally you're pretty remote, so you yeah. do need to be self-contained really, don't you? Yeah, and you need to be self-sufficient. Yeah. Um, I think it's important, like we've had to put our jackets on because we got a bit cold at the start. I think my essential items would always be a couple of snacks, drink, warm jacket, Yep. and enough spare, mechanical spares to get me out of trouble. And that depends on your level of ability to fix things. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Well, that's a lovely thing about cycling. You get lovely people like that. <laughs> Phoebe, yeah. that was a corking ride. I mean, I live in Derbyshire myself. I used yeah. to live in Cheshire, so I know the area really well, but never like that. No, I've no. completely seen Derbyshire in a different way. 40 miles, and we've barely touched a bit of road, have we? That's been fantastic. Out of the way. Yeah, it's great. Really good views, good bit of technical riding as well. Yeah. And it's, there's something yeah. for everybody, isn't there? Whatever, yeah. I think the reminder is, the big takeaway for me, regardless of your ability, this sort of terrain can be, yeah. it's doable, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that sort of distance as well. Definitely. I mean, you know, you can take all day out over it and still really enjoy it. And there's ways around some of the more technical stuff that we did today, which we can, I can always put an, old, an easier route out. That's no problem. But I just wanted to give you like the full flavour of like the smooth hero gravel and some of the rough, rocky stuff because it just mixes it up really nicely. And sticking with the flavour theme, flavor chips theme. Oh, in that so You can't beat I it, know. can you? No, not um, at all. If you want to do this ride, a link to the ride is in the description below the video. Yep. But, finally, gravy on chips? Go on, yeah, gravy on chips. <laughs> oh, it's lumpy gravy as well. It's good, it's thick. Oh man, go on, get stuck in. This is a proper energy drink. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. That's good gravy, that is. That is. It's gravel gravy. Gravel gravy. Gravel gravy. I've got a bit of that on my legs. 